In this episode of Taylor's Travels, I share with you what a day in the life of an 11 day crossing looks like. Hey, I'm Taylor. I've been leading an alternative lifestyle for the last two years. From living in a van to living on a sailboat. With my guitar by my side along the way. Subscribe to follow me along this wild adventure that I call life. Good morning. Welcome to a day in the life on a 10 day passage. So I got up at 6 a.m. this morning. So my watch is from 6 until 9 in the morning. We got a pretty good sleep last night and I get to watch the sunrise. So I really enjoy this watch. But Originally this trip, this journey was supposed to be 10 days straight from the U.S. Virgin Islands all the way to Hampton, Virginia, about four, a little over 1,400 nautical miles. But due to weather, we had to make a pit stop in the Bahamas for two nights, so we've been delayed. So this is now day nine, I think. <laughs> all the days start blending together. So we're probably going to be... It's that this passage is probably going to be more like 12 days instead of 10 um, but I'm enjoying every minute of it and I thought I would take you guys along with me just for a day I was planning on filming something every day and making a video of the whole trip but uh, it just hasn't worked out that way so I'm just going to share one full day with you guys from as soon as I wake up right now to when I go to bed so you guys can see what it's like Any kind of longer passage, whether it's 10 days or even like two days, uh, somebody always has to be on watch. Somebody always has to be paying attention. So right now we have four crew members on board, and so the the night watch schedules go 9 to midnight, midnight to 3 a.m., 3 a.m. to 6 a.m., and 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. So we've been doing each shift for two days and then rotating. By the time the trip is done, we'll all have gone we'll have gone full circle and we'll all have done every watch, which is good. The nice thing about being on watch now, after we've done some improvements to get ready for this trip, is we have our radar system and we have uh, these iPads here, which instead of having to constantly be sitting behind the helm, I can just you know sit here, relax, enjoy my coffee, while also being able to see the charts, the wind speed, radar, and, uh, and our track and everything. So that's been really awesome to have. The AIS system is uh, is what we do to see other boats that are out there, but sometimes boats don't always have AIS, so that's why we need somebody to physically be on watch and be looking out here just in case there's boats that don't have AIS. And uh, so we're making sure we're not on any collision course with anybody, um, you know, avoiding any obstacles, making sure we're staying on course, keeping an eye out for the wind to make sure it doesn't get too strong, or in this case this morning, it's too light and uh, the sails were luffing, so we turned on the motor. We still have the Genoa out right now, helping us along, so we're motor sailing. seems to be a common occurrence on this trip is flying fish. A couple nights ago uh, I came up for my night watch. I was the 3 a.m. night watch. 
Well, it's uh, 3 a.m. and I'm getting up for my night watch and I go to come out here and I realize that there's a freaking fish. Just chilling in the cockpit. Poor guy. And there was a fish just laying in the cockpit. It was dead, um, but it was a flying fish. And then I ended up find, finding like two or three more around the boat. And so this morning I take a look out here and once again, there's another flying fish. Later that morning, once the whole crew was awake, it was time to hoist the spinnaker. For the majority of this trip, we've been traveling downwind, so having the asymmetrical spinnaker really helps to be able to maintain a good speed, even in light winds. Throughout this trip, the average boat speed has been six and a half knots, and we've been traveling around 160 miles a day. Our top boat speed while under sail during this passage was a little over 9 knots, while having the spinnaker and the mizzen raised. For being such an old and heavy boat, she travels very well. On a longer passage like this, it's pretty important to kind of move a little bit every day. It's pretty easy to just sit in the cockpit and kind of be a little bit of a couch potato. Um, so it's pretty important to kind of, you know, stay moving every day and not be so sedentary. And so I'm going to try and do, get my body moving, do a little movement. Because um, I'm starting to feel a bit blah and tired and lazy. So I'm going to try and counteract that. If I'm being completely honest, days out at sea can be a little bit boring. Although the boredom does kind of force me into a much more peaceful state of mind. which really helps me to be able to focus on the things that I love, like journaling and playing my guitar. In the evening, we had to make a few sail adjustments, such as taking down the spinnaker in order to unfurl the Genoa. The reason we switched out the sails is because the wind picked up speed and changed directions, so we were not comfortable with flying the spinnaker. Alright, much more manageable amount of sail out for 19 knots of wind now, so yeah. I'm and happy we did that. we're still doing 7 knots. Yeah. So I go to help prep dinner. <laughs> 
and uh, I'm bragging about how sweet potatoes are like my specialty. I love love to make them a special way, and so I go to go to do it and uh, cut it open. That's not a sweet potato. I think. Wait, did you say Saint? I think Saint John has white sweet potatoes, but I'm not really sure if that's true. <laughs> but either way, I don't think it's gonna work for what I want to do. So uh, no, no bueno. But I have no a bueno. different plan. I personally like a cutter rig, you know? Oh shit. <laughs> it broke in half! <laughs> Gotta get more in there. But <laughs> that was karma. Oh, yeah. That was karma. Oh no. After dinner, I enjoyed watching the sunset from the bowsprit. And just as the sun dipped below the horizon, we had the extra special treat of dolphins swimming in our bow wake. Eee, dolphins! <gasps> there we go! and you can't see them. For real. Here you go. Oh, yeah, they are oh, baby! <laughs> And that concludes a day in the life of an 11-day passage.